Yo, what is good, fam? Welcome to episode 54 of Speaking of Wish podcast. Got my boy John in the building. You already know the vibes, man. Yes, sir. Man. Got my man Aaron here with me. We out me. here. It's been a while since it was just you and me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's never a bad day. Never sure. a bad day. Come on, man. Um, Knicks won today. It's a great day, man. Yo, Knicks, they, they doing all right. Yeah, oh, man, Julius day. didn't play one second in the fourth quarter. I like that a little bit. I'm in a good yeah. mood since the Knicks won. I'm a Laker fan, but, you know, and that's they won last story. night. Yeah, that fight was crazy, too. You know what I'm saying? The fight was crazy. Uh, Javante Davis hit him with a he slight said, oh. hook. He definitely broke his rib. Or at least bruised it, yeah. yeah. He said no mas. Yeah. But, yeah, episode here, 54, man. y'all. Speaking of which podcast, you mm. can catch us on YouTube, Spotify, All that good TikTok. Stuff. MySpace, all that, bro. Kick, come on. Yo, we should wire. have all kick and all that, right? Like, the, kick is the new, um, not the old kick, not K. Oh, there's K. a new one. There's a yeah. It's just like uh, I know Kelo K. It's <laughs> it's just uh, it's just like Twitch. Really? Yeah, yeah. Cause I know uh, what's his name switched from Twitch to another thing, academics. Uh, yeah, academics went to Rumble. Rumble, what is that? Rumble's you know kind of like is? a right wing live streaming platform, but is it buzzing Kick, right now? Or is it Kick like- is actually owned. It's brand new. It's owned by somebody that was kicked off of Twitch. Really? So he's trying to compete with Ooh. Twitch. So they signed like, I think um, either Aiden Ross or mm-hmm. somebody. Interesting. I can't remember. Because there but. used to be another thing that Microsoft tried like, having an exclusive thing with. Uh, it wasn't Twitch. It was Mixer. You remember yes, that? Yes, and yes, And then that kind of... They had, like, Ninja on Mixer and all that, that, that stream. Damn, that's throwback. Yo, what we got today, bro? Well, first of all, I don't know if I said it when I was recording, but Amelie, 15 years ago, I got to mention that, man. Yes. 15 years ago, Amelie dropped, bro. That's yeah. crazy, fam. Yeah, we got we great We getting old, son. Yeah, we getting bro. old. And we got to see it live, which yep. was crazy. We got As, to see Weezy. If you don't know, we saw the GOAT. Check our vlogs, man. Come Weezy on. F Baby. We saw him uh, in Philadelphia. That nice was fire. little drive. Yep. You know. They almost didn't let us get our VIP stuff at the end though. Yeah, it was crazy, man. But <laughs> we, we ended up we ended up, you know, retrieving our goods. Yeah, thanks. But the show in general, bro, how how was it for you, my friend? Yo, that Wayne show, man. I didn't expect like mosh pits or anything, which is fine. But yes. like, even when the whole crowd was rapping three P, like with no, when it was just you know no beat or nothing, right. and the whole crowd is singing, like yo, that shit, I felt it, man. Yeah. And yeah. I felt your enthusiasm too. Like once you heard the, uh, now we steady mobbing. Is it we steady mobbing? Oh, uh, baby. Uh, no, it or was like at uh, the rolling. End. Are you talking about rolling? Nah, it was at the end. How did the, what's the beat for we steady mobbing? <laughs> Yes, yes. When that started playing, I heard you. Like, I saw, yo! I was <laughs> like, yeah. Was crazy, nah, I felt it, bro. bro. Everybody was just big Wayne Everybody fans. was there for yeah. Wayne, bro. You could tell, like, it we was We appreciated just, it, man. That's yes. that's all. That's the main thing I learned is from that show is the appreciation yes. that everybody had for that, dude. You know man. what's interesting, too? Somebody on the line said that, you know, this feels like a legend type of tour like a one of those tours Word. where you you don't know when's the next time you're gonna see wayne it was like a farewell yeah. tour seems like right or at least right, right or at least like a like just appreciate the the greatness kind of tour you know it's kind of I mean? like one of those tours where like you go to like jones beach theater to see like pink floyd or like you know like these these one-off <sighs> bands and shit damn man wayne is so deep in the game he did like 40 songs, bro. Shout yes. out to the guy that made that comment for my vlog. Yo, facts. He put every song, bro. Yo, he was clutch. But him bringing out the, the Young Money crew, that kind of killed it a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. But it was yeah. still an amazing show. Because especially when the DJ was like, we got a special guest. He's Philly's own. He gassed own. it. He gassed He's it. He's your own. I'm thinking, yeah, it's got to be Meek or Uzi. I know mm-hmm. you see his Drizzy P. Yo, what's up, y'all? We're like, <laughs> <sighs> what a name, Instagram, by the way. I'm like, yo, John, look at this dunk. And he's over here trying to rap. <laughs> I felt bad, but yo, hey. first of all, Wayne came out to Mr. Carter. Mr. That Carter. was amazing, legendary. Bro. Son. Right at the start, like one of my favorite songs of and all. And I usually time. don't like the live band, bro, but it fit. It yes. fit with Wayne. I'm not gonna yes. lie, bro. Especially Mr. Carter, because that's a very you know yep. instrumentative. Yep. Very like instrumental. Uh, instrumental, you know. Or at and, least it's uh, very triumphant. Right, that's a good way to. And play. all the songs that were meant to like hit hard, like the Rolling and We Steady Mobbing, they all hit hard, bro. Hard, that shit. boy. 
Man. You missed like four songs when you left. Yeah, you I had. Hustle. Unfortunately, I, I had to put my too. camera away after three songs. You gotta put your camera away. I had to go to my car and all that. I think you miss hustle music, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yes, I miss hustle La-La. music. La la, la, la couple La-La. others, but La-La. amazing, La-La. amazing La-La. show, man. I'm gonna see him again, bro. Oh yeah, I'm with it. I'm gonna see him again. Um, we drove all the hopefully, way. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Yeah, come on. But uh, let us know how you guys feel about this next topic, though. Okay. We just saw Wayne. Which who? Which you think he's the greatest? We're going to talk about it. We're going to discuss who's the greatest artist of all time. So he got a criteria. We gonna, What's the criteria? The criteria. I, I want to find a fifth one, but I'm having a hard time. The four I can come up with right now is impact on culture stardom you know everybody wants to be like you type okay, thing okay okay culture sales impact. sales okay okay bars 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 okay but listen you don't even understand because like if i didn't come well, cassidy, up cassidy. before wayne he wouldn't even be doing the carters and shit like that so i'm just saying and number four and number four <laughs> was like song making ability like uh, i guess hits structure. Nah, yeah, for sure. That's uh, you know what I'm saying. Because you could be a great rapper, but you don't know how to structure a, a chorus, right? Right. That's why I specify greatest artists. Right. Um, mm. And you know, I so guess not we the can... greatest rapper. This isn't what we're doing. Sh- should we? Because yeah. greatest artists, you could yeah, say Michael yeah. Jackson. Yeah, no, Let's do rapper. Fine. John fine. Cena. You know. Fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? And we can get some help from the top ten list from uh, Billboard. Top ten. Uh, they, okay. You can use their top 50 list, What would too. be another one, though? Because I know you mentioned four. Another, yeah, another criteria. Uh, I'm not sure. Because we got impact on culture, sales, uh, bars, and uh, just song-making ability. How about, eh, I was going to say if they put anybody on, that don't really matter, though, right? Does that count? That would be, like, ball shit. Like, ball shit? <laughs> word. I already know he's going to say Birdman is the greatest rapper of all time. <laughs> Lugs. Come Burn on, man. All right, let's see. All right. Let's see. We don't have to come up with a fifth criteria. No, no, no. I'm just thinking of the rappers. All right, so automatically it's going to be up there with Jay-Z, Nas, Lil Wayne, Drake. Um, Eminem, boy. Eminem, Kanye. Am I missing anybody? Definitely. Uh, um, Biggie, Pac. Biggie, Pac. Shit, I know people be saying a lot of they be saying DMX, bro. Fifty, you could say fifty. Fifty, uh, I I don't I don't think he's in that list. He's not, but I'm just saying I'm just throwing names. Yeah, out, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, I'm looking around because fifty didn't have the best bar. Be. Uh, damn, who we missing? Juice I mean, World, there's a bunch. Honestly, Juice for uh, yeah. Uh, what am I talking about? I mean, we got so many rappers like Doug Future, but I'm thinking of more. Shit, Kendrick, bro. Come on. Kendrick, duh, duh. Kendrick, Cole, MGK. <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing. <laughs> I love MGK. Bro. Okay, Cole, and we. I feel like we can uh, stop there. Yeah? There's, yeah. Not, there's nobody else that we're obviously missing? J. Cole? Fu- no? I mean, if we like I said, Cole. You said Cole? Future, we can add. But, like, we know they're not going to be in the discussion with I guess Jay-Z, you, I get what Nas, you I get what Wayne, you I Kanye, what you Kendrick. What about Andre 3000? Drake. People be saying that too, bro. Yeah, but. I ain't going to hold you. No, I don't, I don't, to be honest, I don't think anybody wants to be like him necessarily. Mm. Maybe in Atlanta, but. Where I feel that. I feel that. I, I feel like it comes down to Jay-Z, Wayne, Kanye, and. Eminem. Eminem. Sales-wise. I mean, yeah. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Impact. Yeah, those four. Uh, Kanye, Wayne. Jay Z, Eminem, and Nas, but n- nobody wanted to be like Nas, really. It, it, I may be wrong, F- fuck me, but like, <laughs> uh, shit. Like those four, I feel like they got it on lock. Like we can argue those four. J Cole is, you know, and all those other people, they're good. Yeah, but I would put Kendrick in the top five. Okay. Because he doesn't really That's have the, a bad album. Okay. So we can we can work with that five. <laughs> yeah. Kendrick, Kanye, Wayne, Jay-Z, and did I say Kanye? Eminem? Right? Eminem, yeah. So you think Kanye's top five for him? Yeah, hell yeah. 
Mm. Hell yeah, but mad people want to be like him. No, he Pac has the song. I would put Pac low key. Really? It's a debate. I don't think I don't think he had a long Eminem. enough career though. Yeah, I know, but the impact is crazy, man. So is Juice Worlds, you know. I feel like yeah, not to compare, it's only but been like two years, you know, like Pac's been passed away for so many years. Okay, you can say the same thing for X. No. Yeah, same thing for X. Yeah, same thing. But I, let's stick to Kanye, Eminem, Wayne, uh, Jay Z, and Eminem. I think, I think Eminem, Eminem is up there, Jay Z and Wayne, bro, and maybe Kanye. Like, if we had to eliminate, who are we eliminating? Because thing is too, like when it comes to bars, okay. Kanye's the least one there. Yes, that is true. Um, but does his production make his, up for it? That and his discography. His discography <laughs> is one of the best, if not the best, bro. Definitely top three, top five disc discogs. Wayne's discography is not as strong, even though it had a way bigger impact. Kendrick or Wayne? I'm taking Wayne because nobody wants to. No offense, I mean, but Kendrick wanted to be like Wayne when he came out. He had a whole C4 mixtape in like '09. He was, uh, you know, he was on the bus when J Rock was. When he was under J Rock. He was rocking. All right, Wayne so if we're taking out Kendrick. Kendrick, we got Kanye. Are we taking out Kanye? No, let's keep it. Kanye, Wayne, Jay Z, M. Greatest rapper of all. What about Drizzy, boy? But I, he, <laughs> we ain't even say Drizzy though. But I, he's in. He's up there, but I don't think. I mean, he has decent bars too. It's he's not like he a scrub. He has the sales. He has the bars. Does he have the cultural impact? Maybe memes and like one liners on 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 your caption, maybe. But I don't think anybody wanted to dress like Drake or like you know what I'm saying. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the the haircut with the heart. I don't know, but damn, I feel you on that. You know, I, I wouldn't put him up there with. Damn, it's crazy how the guy with the most streams, the most it sales. Matter, I think yeah. he's the only artist that has, I think, 20 songs with a billion streams. If sure. I'm not mistaken, rapper wise. It's you know, he, without, he's without, not far off the list. That's for sure. I'll say that. Damn. <laughs> so it's either between Jay Z, Wayne, Wayne and Ka M, and Kanye. And Kanye. Kanye doesn't have the bars. He technically does. It's kind of disrespectful to say that, but in yeah, the but context, we know what we mean, in the context, Kanye right. never been a lyricist like an MC. Word, like that, word, right? like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like yo, I gotta take a walk. She just like. bleached her asshole. You know what I'm saying? So like, damn. Yeah, every but every but every artist. It depends. I feel like on any time. given day, you could say Kendrick's the greatest rapper of all time. On any given day, you could say Jay Z's the greatest rapper of all time. Nah, it's the greatest rapper. But like when you, I all, think it's between M and Wayne, bro. Nah, Hov is up there too, boy. I, I, but as much as we, I we know, may not bro. listen to Hov like that, but he has hit records, sales. The girl, <laughs> the girl. Uh, like the legacy is there crazy, too. Bro. A lot of people do want to be like him and did want to be like him. They want to be like him today for different reasons, you know, success wise. But and we, it's kind of, it's not before our time, but like, bro, late '90s, early 2000s, like he had that shit on lock, bro. He did, he Eminem did. Too, but they always, they on always lock. say he never was the hottest rapper in any era. They do say that about Jay Z. People from outside of New York, maybe. Who was hotter than Hove? Maybe DMX. Nelly at one point, DMX. Uh, even like 50, yeah, and then Wayne, Wayne came that was in. When he retired, though. Yeah, but I just mentioned the ones before. DMX, Nelly, Ludacris on a lower scale. I think it's between M, like even Eminem. Like had the, Eminem had the late 90s on lock over Jay-Z. Early 2000s too, boy. So I, that's <laughs> came why I, back with that's just, what I'm saying. Just like, lose it in 2004. Don't forget that. That was one of his biggest songs. So when it comes down <laughs> to it, M has a disc discography. He has the bars. He has the song making ability. He low key put people 50 on, wanted though. to be like him. He had all these white kids dyeing their hair blonde, wearing white tees. But he had the hood bumping him too, though. Yep. 
Like, you know what I mean? And he put 50 on, if we're being real. He's the one that showed Dre, yo, you got to listen to this cat, bro. I think with Wayne, it's more so a case of everybody wanted to be just like him. Like, there was a point where everybody wanted to rock. They, niggas was going to Hot Topic, bro. <laughs> With <laughs> like, their fucking keychain? Yeah, shit? bro. Like Truck fit. They are rocking truck fit. The you know, even dreads, before that. like The face tats. Face tats, dreads. I knew it was going to boil down to Wayne. I knew at the end of the day we were going to say But the thing Wayne. is, M and Wayne, like, the one thing M has over Wayne is the discography by far. Does he have more hit records than Wayne? He's got Wayne's he got, got a got lot of features. Shit. We gotta we gotta include Wayne's feature run too. That's a part of it. Feature run was crazy. Nobody Next we've tapes. never seen a feature run like that. Nah, hell from no. From 06 to like 2011. Yeah, shit was crazy. <laughs> That's a good what, five years? That shit Damn. was crazy. I think it's down to M and, and Wayne, bro. Who you got? I ain't gonna lie, Eminem put me on a hip hop. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, bro. He put oh, a lot of man. he he turned the world. Nah, this is my favorite. Hip -hop. But I feel you with the the yeah, real ones. know when it comes to rap, to bars, bars, storytelling, all that. Yeah, yeah. man. Bro. Damn, son. Who you think, Emma Wayne? <laughs> Damn, I, Jay Z too, though, bro. I can't forget him, though. So. <laughs> We back to this. <laughs> Jay Z too. We gotta let the we gotta let the comments decide, boy. Damn, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna say Wayne though. Wayne. Hell yeah. With metaphors. I just think the swag. I think what's so cool about it too with Wayne, like it's so wow about it, is that it's all freestyle. It's all like yeah, but Jay Z too. Jay yeah, but <laughs> but we've already discussed. You know, like nobody really wanted to. Yeah. I don't know. He never had a dominant era. I'll say that. Mm. But does that matter? Damn, son. This is a great topic. <laughs> and we're breaking it down really good. I feel good. like if my brother was here, this would be a, a better one for him because he's 40. So, like, he knows. He's seen Jay-Z go crazy. Yeah. You know? He's seen Eminem go crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let us know in the comments, bro. If it's between those three. Of or course, being biased. Kendrick. At this point, I, I, I'm going to be biased. I'm picking Wayne. Mm. All right. You're going to go Wayne over M? Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right that was there tough. you got it. That they, was tough. We going with Wayne, man. <laughs> Shout out to Wayne, bro. Weezy F Baby in the FSB. Subscribe. Tough. Yo. Let's get into this double XL freshman list, my boy. You feel me? So I don't know exactly when it's coming out, but the 10th spot. You can vote for it right now. I think I voted for Jaleel, yeah. Jaleel! Jaleel! Him. I voted DC to Don, which is kind of late, but whatever. I'd vote a different people, even though I'd probably... If, Ice Spice is there, bro. So in my opinion, she's most likely... It just likely, makes sense that she's there. If she turns it down, it's kind of like... If she the, if she's what, not on it, that's because she turned it down. I guarantee you, Absolutely. Ice Spice is gonna be the temp spot. Absolutely. But I don't like think the fact a, that she's a fan vote is crazy to me. She should be in automatically. Wow, she's a fan vote. I yeah, know it's that. the temp spot. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like she should just be in. Period. Much as I don't really listen to her, she, it's undeniable. Shit. Literally undeniable. She I needs think to Ken be. and Loan are gonna be on it together. Listen, I think be they're gonna hard. be right there in the corner. Imagine though, like imagine the Shay Lonely with his big ass glasses and his short shorts like up to here with the with the leggings like this looks could kill. <laughs> baby uh, he goes, baby under fashion D B It sounds like he like he's sick, bro. Like baby under fashion. Nah, but him, um, it'll be I, we could say that deserve to be on that spot or the list I guess in general. That will be cool if Ken was on it. It might be a little late for them, honestly. It could have been last It is year. late, but Ken last Ken year last said year. he wasn't going to do it if Loan wasn't on it. But now that Loan has music out and he has his whole run, I think they're both going to be on it. Glorilla is also Glorilla. part of that. Um, but there's only one spot, man. There's only Glorilla one spot. Glorilla's deserving. Um, Lola Brooke, I think it's it's going to be heavy female too, bro. Bro, Lola look at Summer Jam. Summer Jam is all females, bro. I'm definitely not going. <laughs> it's not happening, bro. Uh, who Even though I respect them all, in? I like Coyle Ray. She's probably my favorite out of all of them. 
All right, we got Armani White. He got a hit song. He got a new song that's going crazy. I mm -hmm. forgot what it's called. Um, DC to Don, Central C. He, he wasn't he on it last see. year. Wow. Nah, Didi Osama. It's got to be Central C on get there. Get out, get out, get out, boom. They might put Didi on there to rep New York. Dougie B. Eam Triplin's been buzzing. Eam he's, Triplin he's does have a good camp behind him. They be having him on everything. I, you know, it's funny. I saw a top comment. I see more promo of him than his actual song. Like, you see promo of shit, of him by the Microsoft thing. You seen that? But, like, th people aren't actually listening is what people are commenting. Mm. Glorilla, Friday, Highway. Highway's cool. Huncho, Jace, um, Jaleel. Jace had a chance last year and, and this year. He's been redeeming himself, though. After that yeah, whole snitching shit, yeah, um, the underground seems to like accept it now. It's really like whether you care or not. At Cash Dami, hell no. Nah. Kenny Mason, nope. Stick. <laughs> Lola Brooke. She got uh, it. Uh, I think she's making it. La Tyler. La Tyler. Uh, that I think, Uzi I think feature I think is next too year, quick though. Next year is uh, his time. I don't think he's that good though. I'm. That's just me. Mavi Midwest. Midwest is cool. Mavi. Mavi. Too. He. He just doesn't have uh like a record like that that, mm. that has trans word trans He got a fan base though. I've say, definitely yeah. seen He's that. definitely got a fan base for sure. Ron Suno. I'm gonna go hop it and flug it. I'm gonna go hop to definitely not winning that. Rob forty nine, Shah G's, Skilla Baby, Slum Success, hell no. It's too late for that. <laughs> Ty Corrine, late. Young Chris, it's not happening. Z Z Z. ZZ, he might get on there because his label just gets every. They they do <laughs> they pay for everything. Zai One K, Twenty One Low Harold, Too Rare, hell? Twenty Six AR. That's really it. Definitely, Ice Spice is gonna win that, bro. Yeah, if she's on that list, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. Jaleel. I would I'm want. Sorry, Jaleel. you're not gonna make it. The most. Honestly, hell yeah, for sure. So let us know. Ice Spice think. alone, that name yeah. is just. They're gonna let us know in the comments who you think deserves to be in that spot. I plan. Put us on too. Maybe we're sleeping. Oh man. <laughs> Let's hit it. <laughs> now we got a fun segment we haven't done in a while. Get your phone out, kid. <laughs> Guess that lyric. Boop. Guess the lyric. You feel me? We're gonna Get say a lyric and we're gonna see, try to see what song or at least what artist it is. You feel me? So I'm gonna go first. You feel me? You ready? I bet. Leave your past in the rear. It's time we overcome. Our energies align inside of your pond. We could live a dream life. Wild. Oh. <laughs> if I say the next bar, you're probably going to know it. Damn, I don't know. Maybe uh, if I sung say it. Say it again? Leave your past in the rear. It's time we overcome. Our energies align inside of your pond. We could live in a dream life. Wow. Feeling a dream like wow. What song is that? I know. Oh, fuck. That's Lil Yachty. It's Lil Yachty. Yeah. Say something. Say something. All right, all right, you got yeah, half. Yeah. You knew the ending of it. If I would have said the next bar, the next bar is we uh got me feeling like a teen again. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Like, yeah. You would have known that. Okay. For sure, for sure. Okay. All right. Use a how. Ding, ding, ding. Different color chains. Think my jeweler really selling fruits. <laughs> Damn, I feel like I know this, bro. Is that six now? <laughs> nah. <laughs> different color chains. Nah, stupid. Stupid. Different, what is that? Different color chains. Think my what? Think my jeweler really selling fruits. Uzi. Give me a hint, boy. Where he from? From the East Coast, West Coast? Yeah. That's Travis? Oh, sicko mode? Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't have said yeah, that. Yeah, right? that ruined it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I knew it was somebody, bro. Damn. Obviously somebody, right? Uh, you ready? I don't need you. And I don't. Hold on, my bad. Whoop. I don't need you. And I know that you don't need me. I done got this fly, so I'm on a date with the moon this evening. I don't need you. I don't need you, and I know that you don't need me. I done got this fly, so I'm on a date with the moon this evening. She act cool, but I know she evil, so deceiving. Think Is about, that Ken Carson, think about, need you? 
Is that Ken Carson needs you? Nah, think about. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a napkin? Think Who about it. No. Come on, son. Yo, what the fuck? I don't know. If Lux could kill. Oh, <laughs> Baby, you're the fashion. Ah. Demon. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I would not have gotten yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's from If Lux Can Kill? Yeah. Uh, I don't really like listen to that song. All right. My bitch exotic. Like something from the islands. Like something from the islands? Young Thug. <laughs> Damn, I need more than that, boy. That's all you got? My bitch exotic. exotic. Like she from the islands? Okay, I can say the next bar. My peace so sacred, I stay by violence. Peace so sacred, I stay by violence. Ken Carson? <laughs> Yee! I have no idea. My bitch, exotic, like something from the islands. Oh, oh, Lil' Key? Damn, that's hard, man. My bitch, exotic, like something from the islands. Damn, that shit hard, man. R.P. Lil' Key, man. R.P. Key, bro. X. Uh, you ready? Santa Claus, yeah, my bitch is bad. Bitch is naughty. I'm on this yacht full time. You got it one day. Is that a little punk? Nah. Santa. Santa Claus, yeah, my bitch is bad. Bitch is naughty. I'm on this yacht full time. You got it one day. Should I say the next bar? Don't get it confused. I'm running my blues up. Hmm. Is that future? Nah. Damn. I don't know. Don't get it confused. I'm running my blues up. <laughs> oh, uh, don't get it confused. My bitch is naughty. I'm on this yacht full time. You got it one day. Man, <laughs> I know who it is, but I don't. No more talk. Yeet. Uh, Come on, man. Don't get a computer. Uh, you go. Fuck out of here. Let's see. <laughs> Two. I pull up with twins. Mink flow. She on her shins. <laughs> Deep throat. I'm going in. My crew done fucked all of her friends. <laughs> <laughs> is that Lil Wayne? Uh, my crew done fucked all of her yeah. friends. <laughs> Damn, Future? <laughs> Young Thug? They're close. Lil Got It? <laughs> <laughs> is it for real? Nah. Uh, I, 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 say it again? Two. I pull up with twins. Mink Flow. She on her shins. Deep throw. I'm going in. My crew done fucked all of her friends. I have no idea. Two, I pull up with twins. Mink flow, she on her shins. Deep throat, I'm going in. My crew done fucked all of her friends. I have player. no idea. Player. 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 Damn, gonna nav, player. Ah, shit. Deep throat. I ain't shit for I'm that. I'm going in. All right, ready? All my ghetto tactics, I'm above average. Is that ASAP Rocky? I've been so in two, man. I've been so ambitious. <laughs> Come on, bro. Say it again. All my ghetto tactics, I'm above average. I've been so in two, man. All I've been so ambitious. Tactics, I'm above average. Is it sung or rapped? It's like rapped. Not like. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I've been so in tune of this, so every. Oh no, here you go. Oh my ghetto tactics, I'm above average. I've been so in tune, man. I've been so ambitious. Man, I know it. Grab another Fanta, let me fill it up. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if they ain't make Chanel, you ain't built like us. Come on, you know this. The federal fuck with me ain't with my. Ta. Don't know. Blood on the money, future. Oh, I don't know that. Yes, you do. Blood on boy. the money? Yes. No way. They got blood on the money and I'm still... Oh, you suck. Oh, yeah. I got blood on the money yeah, and I'm still God. killing. All right. Dudes don't want war. I'm a marching with an army of Spartans. <laughs> Say it again? What? 
Dudes don't want war. I'm a Martian with an army full, uh, of Spartans. Sparring with a knife in a missile fight. Jay-Z? Get your intel right. Your intelligence is irrelevant. But it's definite. I spit more than speech impediment. <laughs> Lil Wayne? Nah. That's it hard crazy. though, right? <laughs> That's not Jay-Z? Nah. Kendrick? Nah. Young bands? Brooklyn is the residence. The best and it's evident. Joey Badass. Yeah. I don't know what song though. Uh, survival tactics. Uh, literally his best song of all time. Damn. Yeah. That's a classic. I kind of right sucked that. That whole shit, that whole segment, <laughs> I sucked. No cap. I got right, like one you, out of five. Why would I wait when there's other women? Why would I hate we in love with winning? Buy her bundles, fly her out. Yeah, say it again. Why would I wait when there's other women? Why would I hate we in love with winning? Why would I wait with other women? Buy her bundles, fly her out. Bring her friend, I'll try her out. Uzi? Nah. Fusion? Maybe if I say it like this. Why would I hate we in love with winning? Ooh! Buy her bundles, fly her out. Bring her friend, I'll try her out. Gah! <laughs> Fabio? Gah! Gah, 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 gah! Gah, gah! Is that Kanye? Yeah, but the, who's saying that part, though? Damn, you smell, boy. It's on a, it's on an album. It's I on know. a classic joint album. I don't know. Smell. It's called Feel the Love, man. Oh, Push Feel the Love. Come on. Mm, I suck. All right, last one. I got one more for your ass. When you was, <laughs> when you was at your lowest, tell me where If the, I get this, I win. I bet. When you was at your lowest, tell me where the hoes was at. <laughs> That's Kendrick. It is, because I said it the way. Yeah. I said it a certain way, but what song is it, though? Um, can I look at the, the titles, the, the track listing? <laughs> sure, I get it. Hoes. Right. If I didn't say it like that, you would have never guessed it. If I would have just said, when you were at lowest, tell me where the hose was at. 3.30 in the morning. Scroll through the call log. Damn. Where the hose was at. <laughs> when you was at your lowest, tell me where the hose was at. Rich Spirit? Nope. Silent Hill? Nope. Savior? Nope. Sa uh, it's over, boy. You lost. Fuck me. Let's count me out. Why would Love you count, you count me, me out? Me out. Yeah. There you go. There you have it. Guess the lyrics. Guess the lyric. And now we on the hot takes. Cause is you ready? I'm ready like overcooked spaghetti. I bet. So my man said, no one is making waves the same way X did. Mm. Interesting. Making hey, man. Waves. I don't want to compare waves, but Yeet has carried the last... Two, almost Word. three years, bro. Yeet, Destroy Lonely, they up there. Um, but it's know? it's not as impactful for sure, but it's definitely a wave. You yeah, can't definitely. can't denounce. Um, That's true. But he man. is saying that nobody has a wave like that, so I guess it's true, man. I feel like it's different though. His wave was on some like Kid Cudi, like I got you. Juice World kind of was that wave a little bit. That is true. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a good take. Oh, but I said, who's really who's giving us that pain right now? That pain, ESTG? Hell nah. Uh, <laughs> Damn, no pump. Giving us that pain. Speaking of little pump, you seen his latest pick with the earrings and the short jacket and the hair. Nah, nah. Oh nah. yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. He got like a Chanel jacket on or some shit like that. Bruh. Yeah. My man like said. Fruit salad. <laughs> TikTok is the new SoundCloud. I wish I could In say that. In a way that. of artists blowing up, yeah, sure. Yes, you could categorize it. I think that's what he means by that. Because yeah. obviously it's not a music platform where you could just search for music necessarily, make a playlist and shit. But in I terms of see. people blowing up from it, yeah, hell yeah. I, I could definitely see that. You know who's like the front runner of that? Shout out to Koi. Word? Koi, you back think in. she's the TikTok person, like the first artist? One of the first, yeah. She was like coming up with uh, No More Parties during the pandemic. Going crazy. Damn. Yeah. Jaleel, too. I think of that, too. 
Let's see. They need to let more rappers perform before boxing fights. <laughs> Say that again? They need to let more rappers perform before boxing fights. Why? Because Chief Sosa last night? Which the audio, they did terrible, by the way. Really? <laughs> they fucked it up, and then they ended up just having it lip-synced. They, took, they turned his mic off. Probably. Um, Maybe. I think it'll be dope. Uh, but they've been doing that. That's not like a new thing. I don't know if they do or don't do that. I'll be honest. I don't watch boxing like that. I did watch last night. But. Eh. That's not really like a hot take. That's just like a cool thing they could do. It doesn't matter if people aren't fans from the beginning as long as they show respect at the end. That is a fact. I agree. Word. That's kind of like how I was with Lil' Key, to be honest. Like, I liked Lil' Key, but I didn't think he was that good until, like, I started really appreciating his music more. Right, right, right. Like, damn. Is that going to happen great. with Lil' Tyler? If he, Lil' if Tyler? Because you think he's not good, I which think he's good. it's understandable. Whatever. I can always, you think you know, what you think, I just think but. his music right now is not good. But he can always change yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's pretty dope of him that he's, like, a swaggy 16-year-old. Like, <laughs> he's straight, like, like. <laughs> he said, like. He just raps like he don't give a fuck. Like, that is true. And he's talking about not killing anybody, like like Cam said. I don't know. I don't uh, really last, listen to his shit. Yeah, you got to give it a bump, for sure. I hope it's all right. All right I'll give it to him. Frank Ocean at Coachella was a prime example for people who think going to festivals just to see one person is a good idea. Ooh. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean look what never happened. It's really a good idea. That's kind of always a risk. It is a risk, but look what happened to us with, with Rolling Out Miami. With Kid Cudi? With, yeah, we went to see well, Kanye. Be, yeah, yeah. I I literally went to go see Kanye, and he ended up folding. Um, a week yeah, with Frank though. Ocean, you know what's interesting? I don't I don't give him my I all. Respect that shit, bro. I don't give him my all, and I don't think y'all should either. I don't like f- you fans of his. Like I really like love him. I don't think you should put all your eggs in that basket. I don't know. He don't give a fuck about y'all. Like straight up. To me, I'm I've never been a fan of Frank Ocean. Not not I'm not saying I'm not a fan, but I just never cared for his music. I love his so, music. I White Ferrari, yeah. Pink Matter, you know, but every, like Nike, everything. So many people be foaming at the He's mouth. He's amazing, of him. but he just doesn't drop enough. And I never, I don't know. To me, it's overrated. But who am I to say that? Because I don't really listen to him, so I can't really judge it. I don't get the but mind really blown. Be sucking it, OD. Yeah, they be they be acting like he's the second coming of Jesus sometimes. But for what he did, bro, canceling on those ice skate people like last minute, bro, and then like, come on, man, that's not cool, bro. I don't yeah. care who you are. Yeah. Um, what if he it was did, Chief Keith? He did that break did that. his ankle. What if it was Chief Keith that did that, and we would be like, oh yeah, we're used to it. I mean, he I showed up four hours late to the show though, in New York. Either way, though, I don't care who it is, man. You can't do some shit like that, bro. I th- I just think people need to stop praising certain artists. Like if if they're not giving you a reason to praise them, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. And then he canceled for the next week. My ankle hurts. Man. Gives a fuck. Your ankle's not singing. <laughs> Where you can literally sit down. The fuck. I don't respect that shit, bro. I think that shit is lame as fuck. I think he's just mentally exhausted, and and he knows he. I fucked heard up. that his brother passed, so that kind of like delayed it more. I don't know, man. Whatever. The man, the world may never know. Twisty P low key carried the underground for a while. What a problem, man. A sh- Yo, you ever you ever seen that video? Where he's of, bleeding and he's like, <sighs> Nah, that one's crazy. But when he crashed his car, that was one. But. He was in his crib, like, recording music. And oh, his, and his parents? And his dad came in. Yo, he's like, we don't want to be disrespectful. He's like, yeah, he's off stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, Yo, that was here. crazy. He's like, yeah, my dad don't, my, my mom don't mind. It's my dad. Yeah. He's sleeping. He's sleeping, though. He's like, my dad is in the vortex or some shit like that. He's like, yeah, I'm in the vortex, all right. <laughs> Yo. That's sad, Nah, bro. Twisty P, shout out to him. We need another version of that. What a problem, man. <laughs> he said... Uh, where we at? Cameron and Mace have the best sports talk show right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> it is a funny ass show. I ain't that gonna show is dumb funny. Stupid funny. Like, got, got left back shit. Yo. Like, <laughs> I'm about to say, <laughs> that shit is hilarious, It bro. really is. That dynamic is great. Cameron alone is mad funny. He don't even need a host like somebody else. Mm-hmm. He could be like, yo, real talk. Like, what is y'all saying? Like, Pause. subscribe. Like, what is y'all doing? Like, and Mace is just like, you know. He's a he's a basketball savant, you know. 
Like he's just Yeah, but you don't know that, what you're talking about. They're like yin and yang, bro. Yeah, facts. Um, Crazy they used to hate each other. For real? Yeah, they had beef. They had bro- beef and broccoli. Shit. Megan the Stallion, a Megan the Stallion, a Megan the Stallion nineties type rap album would be fire. Like a boom. Show bat. that you can spit, you know? And speaking not just spit of, on the Frank. You speaking know? of that, Doja Cat Can't got spit. a remix that she did for some song. I don't know what it was, but she says she's about to drop a rap album. And that song that I heard was hard. Doja can hard. spit. Hard. She looked crazy now though. I ain't gonna lie. She looked like a gremlin, but <laughs> maybe out, that's you know? the but that would be fire though. A Megan nineties album. I'll, yeah. I still wouldn't listen to it, but I'm sure that'll be fire. <laughs> I still wouldn't listen to it. Nav is underrated and is actually fire. Uh, I think he's overhated. That's yeah. That's more of the term. I don't know. People about be underrated. trying to play him. Like, I think he's underrated because he's not that great musically, but he's solid. Like, shout out to Bobolin. We we love and enjoy your sh- your shit. Um, he be clowning him, and I, I'm just like. Yeah, I don't really know. Does, like, who's going to see? You haven't who's been going outside to, at a Nav show. I'll be like, honest. Who's that going to see Nav? Like, who's mosh pitting for Nav or something like that, right? Yeah. I don't want to say the wrong things, but I'm like, what uh, do you mean? But, yeah, Nav is, to me, since 2016, 2017, has been that guy. Like Nav whore. Even when Nav hid his whole um, image and all that, like, yeah. I was around that time. Like, I was bumping him. Yeah. Wondering like, yo, what the fuck he yeah. look like? I just feel like at this point, we Nav has reached his ceiling musically. You know, from now on, it's kind of all gonna be the same shit. I don't ever see him experimenting ever. I don't see him switching up. It's his almost style, like we got which enough. Which is fine. It's like Meek Mill. It's kind of like it's this. You can what you, what you get is what you get. You know, like if you like Nav, if you don't like him, you won't like him. I would like him. I would like more artists to experiment like Yachty. Like, give us something a little different, you know? Right. Even Yachty, he got the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he, like, at least, like, like... what makes Nav's previous project different than the most recent one? You know? I mean, yeah. he has some songs To him, it may be different, because the latest project, he produced a lot of it. That's cute. But you're right. Like, when it comes to the actual I mean, output. Yeah. But shout out to Nav, though. He hard. Uh, Don Tolliver's got the best singing voice in rap. Is that really a hot take? Like, who else got a crazy voice in rap like that, singing wise? I mean, well, rap. He said the greatest, the best, yeah. Singing voice in rap of all time. I, I think Vori is up there. <laughs> He's hard. I don't really know too many singers like that, so I can't really compare it, bro. Don't sleep on Drake. Singing voice in rap. Because then you got to think about, like, R&B because it's kind of connected. But, like, real singing, though, because it's auto-tune. Is Chris Brown a better singer than Don Tolliver? You answer that. You're you're a big Chris fan. I don't know. That's a good one. Because Don Tolliver's voice is unique. They hit different notes, though. Like, yeah. I feel like Don's more, like, low-tone and That's atmospheric. I don't know too many singers like that. So, I don't know. You got Friday. You got a couple new guys I think out Friday, here. Vori. People like that are hard. You got, like, Black. You got, like, Bryson Tiller and shit, you know? Yeah, you know, yeah, all right. <laughs> Trey songs, yeah. <laughs> My man said J. Cole is mid. Definitely not mid. If you actually bump his shit, it's not mid. 2014, Forest Souls Drive, one of the best hip-hop albums of all time. He had probably the best verse of last year with the shit with Benny, too, Stop Sleeping. Mm-hmm. Benny brought him out for the first show of Benny's tour in Baltimore. Hard. That is hard. Benny needs to pull up on like a Kendrick album, a Cole album, a Drake album. Like yeah, they go got off, songs right? too. And just go off, right? Like, yeah, yeah just I'm need here. like come on, like, like the here. mainstream needs to give him love, bro. Yeah. Like he could be up there on the radio. Yeah, yeah he really can though. Um, Chief Keef is criminally underrated and has been since his lean era when most people stopped listening to him as much as they once were. I've always said that though. The casual fan don't want to give his, you know, his shit a listen. Like when Bang Three came out, the casual fan was already gone. I gotta say this. Twenty fifteen. There was a, a a good chunk of years, like a good six, seven years, where his he, production wasn't up there. Like it wasn't listenable, in my opinion. Like it's only up until like twenty eighteen, like twenty seventeen. I think Bang Three came no, out. Twenty eighteen. No, Bang Three was twenty fifteen. That's when the casual fan was already gone. 
I, I, it was around that time That's where Fanito and, and the shit. And then when sure. Zaytoven pulled up, like 2016, 17 was when his sound started to sound a little better. It's almost like he learned how to use the software he was using to mm. to to record on. Because mm. from 20 like 14 to like 2017, bro, 16, it was sounding horrible. The mixing was garbage. Some songs. Some songs. Yeah, garbage, bro. It was, like, not even listenable. Bang 3 is definitely listenable, though. Yeah, yeah. That is true. And that, I feel like that's what started that was an actual his. actual album. I'm sure the label was like, yo, you know, that, master that, it, right? That was what started his trajectory back to me. Because he definitely had a low point in his career. Especially Back to the Dead 2. That shit was garbage. Well, that's really only one year. That's 2014. I, I still... I, I still think Almighty Soul is garbage too. That shit is mixed terribly. <laughs> That's 2013. That was when the casual fan I had already left too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I, but he's definitely underrated though. Musically, I think he's pretty hard. And he doesn't. You don't know what you're gonna get with a Chief Keef song either. Nowadays, it's he's not perfected his sound, it's bro. Not predictable at all. Who would have thought we would have glow beats? Mm -hmm. Like he's perfected his own lane of music so he's only gonna get better so i'm excited and for Chief don't be dick almighty so too to come and out Ch chief keep never cared to like be mainstream like that either like he don't be dick riding he never cared to be spotlight he don't really do features with people unless he really he does you. everything himself literally yeah, he just be chilling and his artwork be him too <laughs> and his music videos you know he just be chilling bro imagine if he did give a fuck <laughs> he'd probably so. be uh, let's do like five more. We got a couple more. This year started off super slow, but still has the potential to be to become one of the biggest years in music. I don't agree. Respectfully. I'm enjoying the music that's come out. Uh, nice. Even though it came out like late December of last year, uh, Metro, who, by the way, had a crazy Coachella performance. Both of them. The best. Yep. Um, Lil Yachty, of course. Strike, strike. Um, Low key, Tana, Keed, Don't Oliva, Tana, Yeet. Come on, man, we got some Yeet, shit. Yeah, we got some yeah. shit. There's, it's just that people are waiting on Rocky and Travis and Uzi and Cardi, Cardi. like <laughs> Trippy too. Tri Love Letter yeah. to Five. Oh yeah, that's true. You know, people are anticipating that. Which I is, think he people are tight. over Trippy, but yeah. that's another hot take. I mean, you don't really see too many casual Trippy fans like that, unless you're a real fan, right? Like, how many casual people will be like, dang, I can't wait for a new Trippy project? You might hear a Uzi. You might hear, oh, I can't yeah, wait for right. Rocky, for Travis. That's true. Unless you're a real Ow. Trippy fan. At least I think. At Long Last ASAP by Rocky is his weakest album in his discography. But At Long Last ASAP, that's, which one's that one? That's the one that's 2015. That's his weakest, he said? I think that's his best. A lot of people think that at long Canal last. Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always gotta make sure. Yeah, yeah. So long fine. Last, I think musically, fine like structurally, that's definitely his best project. Yeah, it's it, that's his best. Holy Ghost, Fine Wine, Jukebox so Joints. Look at this shit. You got this run right here is crazy. Holy Ghost, Canal Street, Fine Wine, LSD. Excuse, Excuse me. Excuse me. JD, Lord Pretty Flaco, Jordy Two, Electric Body, Schoolboy Q, Jukebox Joints, Max B. <laughs> Even Far Side is like really experimental, Farside, and that shit is hard too. Wavy Bone, West Side Highway, Better Things, M's. The they interlude really, is even. It, the interlude was produced by Rocky himself. Yeah, it's definitely not his weakest project. Uh, where we at? Like him or not, Young Boy will eventually tour and be as big as Drake. Really? Not to me. I don't care how big he gets. He ain't never going to be big. I think Drake. half of his fans can't even go to his shows if they're like 18 plus. Trash. But think about this. Young he's definitely so doing arenas. Bro. He's definitely, <laughs> he's definitely doing arenas in Memphis, New Orleans, uh, Atlanta even. You know, I don't see what makes him so big, bro. Like I don't either. But – Maybe we're at that age, bro. It's just, it's just not for us. I'm just not a fan of that and shit. And it's so much music. Too and just much. the last year or two, he's dropped like 18 projects. I was watching Baba Lamb stream the other day, and he was bumping Young Boys, I think his new project. I don't know when it came out. But literally, like, I'm like, please change this, bro. Like, This is just <laughs> not it. Bro, shit was trash. Um, Big Boy should be recognized outside of Outkast for how consistent he is. 
He's a dope MC in his own right. I don't know much about him. You? Nah, I just know he's like. We all know Andre's the Beyonce of the group. Mm. That's what it is. And that's where, it, that's where it ends. Yeah. R&B been fantastic this year so far, but hip-hop's been dry as fuck. I don't know why R&B, people keep saying really? that. How the fuck is hip-hop dry as fuck? Have you guys even looked into like music that's been dropping? I don't understand. Because you got... you. First of all, you got a whole Black Soprano project that just came out. If you want lyrical shit, Lloyd Banks just dropped. If you like, what are we looking for here? Yo, Banks. What are we looking for here? Like, I don't understand. What are you expecting? I, is like, let me know. For the person that just made that take, how is it dry as fuck, bro? I yeah. just don't get it. I don't. I don't understand in general. What are they looking for? And, and you know, we respect your take, but at the same time, you gotta. You got to look at how the world is, bro. Everything is at your disposal. There's way too much music and it's way too accessible to be like, damn, hip hop is dry. There's no way, bro. It's people dropping every day. Yeah, no. Nah. There's people dropping every day, every bro. Every day, boy. Every day. Bump that new Yayo. Dropped two months ago. Stop playing. <laughs> Tony Yayo. <laughs> I might go to the show with him. I don't know. I just want to go. It's the it's Wednesday, right? Gee, you not. <laughs> I just want to. Yo, I, I was watching the Statue of Liberty. I was living in front of the Statue of Liberty. Thank you, Fifth. Fifth. Thank Battery you. Park. <laughs> Bulletproof. Trucks and all that. 50 hat. Yo, come on, man. Shout out to the Bronx. They got the Spanish dudes. They got the knife game and the gun game. Yeah. Stop playing with them. Gra, gra, boom. Passport boys. <laughs> Facts. Uh, when Uzi drops the pink tape, it finna get more hate and backlash than Eternal Take did in the first week. Because Uzi fans are very decisive. Or he should have said indecisive on what they want, and if he tries doing anything remotely different, they finna lose their mind. But there remotely different from what though? Like we don't really know what is remotely different for from Uzi. From what? Yeah, exactly. Because he's always he's so out. unpredictable. Yep. You cannot box him in. He can do a Jersey Club. He can do sad boy shit. He can do rock star shit. Like yep. we don't know what's coming. Exactly at all. <laughs> at all. So I I. I Shit, I'm going to just say this. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to be happy, happy with whatever we get. I just don't want no devil shit. I don't want none of that. Shit, man. But I know it's coming. But Uzi's going to be all right. He doesn't have trippy red ass fans that are fickle as hell. He does, though. <laughs> what? Uzi fans don't know what they want. To be honest, it's probably worse than trippy fans. You think so? Hell yeah. So you think that's gonna happen? Like they're they're gonna be? I feel like with that, a lot of d- with, die with, hard what be, with what he's saying, people are gonna be mad either way. Yeah, right? they're gonna be mad either way. I, the, the, the super diehard Uzi fans wish they had that 2016 Uzi back, and they don't like this jersey shit. They don't like this dance shit. I've seen it in the comments. Like, damn, Uzi's different. He gone. And people be trying he to hate Uzi. on it too. Like, can this song go away already? Type shit. Yeah. And then the demonic shit. Like, damn, we lost Uzi, fam. Like the tattoo here. Yeah. Crazy shit. Lying. Like, yeah, Uzi gum. Uh, we got two mo. My man said, people should drop as much as Youngboy does. Not whole albums, maybe, but more singles or EPs. If you're coming up. Mm. Like, he did the perfect Look formula. Look at Jace, though. Jace drops a lot. Yeah, but he drops way too much, I feel like. Especially on SoundCloud. What he does, he drops well, a he drops song a week. Pro- oh. He drops a song a week on SoundCloud, and whatever sticks, he puts it on a project. Mm. But, but like, what Yeet did, dropping six projects in the last two years, you know, that's perfect. Mm. You know, okay. it, what, what Youngboy is doing, I wouldn't want Drake to do that. I wouldn't want, <laughs> you know... What if, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want top tier artist Kendrick, Cole, and we wouldn't expect that. I feel that, man. But thank you for the take. My man said Denzel Curry is one of the most best performers in the game right now, and it's not talked about enough. He's one of the few actually rapping every single bar, every song at his shows, and the energy he puts into one, to one show is the exact same he puts into all the shows. I will say, that was... One year where I saw he had like a boxing ring or a wrestling ring at crazy. his show, that yeah. was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was yeah, pretty. He does awesome. put his put in a lot of effort. I will say that. Yeah, he's that one of the. He has good. an old soul. That's why. Denzel yeah. Curry has that respect for 
real culture. Yeah. You know I mean? like, yeah. He's not just going to be there. Yo, I need y'all to jump. So. <laughs> Woke up sipping walk. Yo, why ain't y'all lit? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Yo bro. that is annoying. <laughs> bro. What's his name? Uh, yeah, what's his name? I'm going to act this is DJ, bro. <laughs> I, that's some of the worst DJing I've ever seen. I need y'all to jump. Usually when you come out, like, yeah, y'all ready to go crazy? Y'all ready for John? Like, he's like, yo, y'all ready? New York, you ready? And he's like, hold on, hold on, not that song. He played the wrong song. He's like, oh, wait, not that one, not that one. <laughs> he's like, all right, y'all ready? I need y'all to go crazy. I, I'm, I'm going to need y'all energy, all right? I'm like, I'm going to need your energy. <laughs> Let's go. And I was like, yo, you know, DJ 270, that dude that be everywhere? I'm like, well, yo, we need you in the crowd. It's like, that's what I'm saying. Put me up there. Even you up there, bro. Yeah, put me up there, bro. It did not get you the crowd could have put a little hype. girl up there. That would have hyped up the crowd. <laughs> a little girl, facts, boy. Hold on. We got one more. Ready? <laughs> so, let's see. Cash Cardi over Vamp Cardi, and it's not even close. Plug. Are we comparing eras again? Cash Damn. Cardi or Vamp Cardi? What? What we doing? <laughs> Broke boy. We wouldn't have Vamp Cardi if it wasn't for Cash Cardi, but I feel like I guess it's about Vamp like Cardi, the music, you know. Vamp it's Cardi really at is the end like of the day a cult. about the music. At this point, Vamp, like Cardi, has a cult following, and a Even lot of it. Then, he a lot of it is pretty new. Oh yeah. And a lot of it is kids that have no idea about Cash Cardi. And that's maybe that's true. where he's coming from. Like, I would prefer Cash Cardi over Vamp Cardi. I think at the end of the day, I don't think it's – it could be about style, but it's all about the music at the end of the day. So what do you prefer? The plug. Shit, that style, do you like this rock shit, you know? I think the thing about the old Cardi music, it really reminds me of those good days, like summer days, 2017, 2016. Like, right. This new shit reminds me of, like, the new – you know, part of my life that I'm in now, like going to all these shows. Right. Reminds me of Mosh Pits. The Vamp era. Yeah, but when I listen to the old Cardi, I just think of like when I was in college and like. Yeah, yeah. I Memories are attached to it, that's for, for sure. sure. For sure but know? we're going to be saying but the same thing about this wise, era three depends. years from now. It depends. Like, I like some shit old Cardi than some new Cardi shit too. So it really depends, bro. But that's a good team. I'm a I'm a vamp era Cardi. Okay, um, okay. For me, Cash Cardi. Push shut that bitch. Like, I didn't space. really. I didn't John really was f- going crazy at Governor's Ball. Stop. Yeah, me. I was. Yo, uh, I didn't really fuck with him until Shooter came out. Mm. Honestly, like I fuck with Magnolia and some songs on the self titled tape, but yeah, um, Die Lit was my shit. That's bro. really it, man. That's it for today, cuz episode. Well, how you say fifty four in Spanish, boy? Cincuenta y cuatro. Sounds right. Some shit like that. You already know. I'm Dominican, but I'm also dumb in a can. Shout out to y'all, man. Let's get it. Yes, yeah, sir. Shout Subscribe. out to Nick. Shout out to Lakers. Let's go. Subscribe. Subscribe. What y'all know about this? Subscribe. What y'all know about this? Shit's trash. 2010 shit. Lakers Sixes. Let's go. I had the Oreo Sixes. 2010. It's trash.